And Mary has some really, um, I find quite emotional things that she's written down about different memories that she's had. And uh, I was going to ask her whether she'd be comfortable maybe reading one of those out or so. Some of them relate to children, which may um, trigger some of you ladies who have uh, who've had miscarriages or um, who have lost children in some way. Um, some of them relate to other issues, but if she can pick one out that she's comfortable with, then maybe read one. Just to give you a bit of an idea of uh, the kinds of emotions uh, and maybe explain a bit of background about how it's going down. <coughs> in my life before. I pray that you can feel my love and sorrow. I don't know if I can ask you to possibly forgive me. I feel I have committed the worst crime a person can commit to of course the death of my baby. You are a beautiful innocent creature. I did not feel worthy of your love, and yet I loved you more than I can express. Please know that I wanted to reach you, and was prevented, and every moment was panic and pain and dread, thinking of you alone and helpless. I feel you must never want to know me again. But I pray my message and my love can somehow reach you. My regret overwhelms me. I'm so sorry, precious one. series of events even before then, but this rape resulted in her pregnancy and, um, and her family kicked her out of their house they, uh, because she was pregnant and she, 
she then gave birth to, the, to her son, uh, whose name is Benjamin. And she, um, because she was a single mother and pregnant, and only, sorry, single, single mother and 15 years of age, in Israel at that time, the pregnancy meant that you had obviously committed adultery, it was the way that they saw it. Or, and so it was something that was life threatening if you had a baby at that age, you, there was a high likelihood you'd be slain to death. So in order to care for her baby, she had to, to get food. She had to hide her baby to go and get food and then come back and pick up the baby. And uh, one of those times she couldn't come back to her baby and her baby died. And that's one of the experiences that she had in the first century. Which is that feeling that many of you mothers have, isn't it? Of worry about what's going to happen to your children. And that perhaps if something bad's happened to them, that it must have been your fault. So that's a very dominant emotion in many mothers. So. Thanks for sharing that. Mm. Um, with the 14, these emotions are like, they're not like pictures, you know, you hear a lot in New Age philosophy that memories of, you know, of past lives are just like pictures that empty. Um, and that's not how it is uh, for people that have been reincarnated. For people who have been reincarnated, the, they are just a whole series of emotional memories that after you have the emotions, then the pictures often come after that. And so. So that's why a lot of this stuff, when we're processing it, is very intensely emotional. And for Mary, this feeling when she had it was like it happened the day before, like that event happened the day before. And that's the very same, very much the same with some of your emotions you'll find. Is that you, if you process some emotions that are about events in your childhood that are distressing, you'll actually find that it's like it's just happened yesterday when you access that emotion. And the key is to not be afraid of that but actually allow that experience. 